is another big day in Washington, D.C., as many are still talking about the president's executive order on gun control. Meanwhile, there's another vote happening to repeal Obamacare, and this time it could land on the president's desk. Tracy Potts is following the developments as many are gearing up for a fight between the president and Congress. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. The NRA is calling President Obama's tearful speech restricting gun show sales an emotional, condescending lecture. Republicans aren't thrilled either. Once again, we've seen the president overstep his executive authority. And every time he has done this, it has not ended well. There's only so much Mr. Obama can do. Redefining which sellers must do background checks doesn't change the law. There was no change at all in the law. The president simply restated what has been the law since 1968. The White House is gearing up for a fight on that. Sign he and Obamacare. We're willing to call their bluff. Tonight, the House votes again to dismantle the president's signature health care program. For the first time, it could also pass the Senate. The shame in this institution is that it took 62 times for the will of the people to make its way to the president's Correct. desk. President Obama won't sign it. This is not going anywhere. The bill would strip millions from planned Parenthood. Where exactly are the women in these areas supposed to go to get a pap smear or to get a mammogram? President Obama and Congress at odds with his budget request just weeks away. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.